Objection? Madam President, today I rise in support of my friend and fellow Minnesotan, Dennis McDonough, as President Biden's nominee for Secretary of Veterans Affairs. And no one knows uh, but you, uh, the Senator from Illinois, Madam President, about how important this job is for our veterans. Dennis grew up in Stillwater, Minnesota, uh, which is right near the Wisconsin border. Uh, he is the grandson of Irish immigrants, uh, the son of devout Catholic parents and brother to 10 siblings. He attended St. John's College in Collegeville, Minnesota. And in addition to graduating summa cum laude, he played safety on the very proud championship St. John's football team. I've been privileged to call Dennis a friend for years, and I know he will serve our country well as the Secretary of Veterans Affairs. As he has done his whole life, he will honor the promises that our country has made to our veterans and their families. Dennis's commitment to our nation's veterans was clear during his time as President Obama's Chief of Staff where he made sure that every decision impacting our service members, veterans, and their families was befitting of their sacrifices. Showing respect and gratitude for our nation's veterans is not something Dennis just prioritizes, it's a value for him. As we know from his time as President Obama's Chief of Staff, he is an adept manager who understands how to tackle complex challenges throughout our government which will be vital for the next secretary. As we also know, the VA is facing a number of challenges from helping veterans to stay safe during the pandemic to improving the quality of care for veterans around the country. These are not simple problems and these are not simple challenges and they will require, as you have shown, Madam President, true leadership and vision, which have been, again, the hallmark of Dennis's time in public service. I also know that he will work tirelessly to find bipartisan solutions, and I think you see that uh, from the support that he has gotten throughout the country, as well as on the Veterans Affairs Committee, where I was honored to introduce him uh, when he started on this journey of Senate approval. And it has never more, been more important than ever to unite our country and get that kind of support. So much of our work with our veterans is about keeping our promises and showing respect, not just in words, but in action. When other senators who don't know Dennis as well or are new to Washington, what they may see as time goes on, you will see the qualities of honor and loyalty in Dennis's commitment to his family, which also includes his family in Minnesota. So I know this firsthand. He has so many relatives that you can't go anywhere without running into some McDonough. Uh, you see it in how he has treated everyone he's worked with. When he worked in the Senate, when he worked as President Obama's Chief of Staff, and I also will assure my fellow senators that he will listen to senators. He will have respect to the people that work here. You see it every day in how he always puts his country first. During his distinguished career, Dennis has approached each and every job with the spirit of respect, honesty, and collaboration, and a willingness to make himself accessible to his colleagues and his team. He is deeply committed to supporting uh, the workforce at the VA, and I want our veterans to know he will do two things so well. He will listen, and he will get things done for you. One of my favorite stories about Dennis involves this, listening and then getting things done. We were having a lot of trouble up in northern Minnesota with the iron ore mines closing down, as you all remember, kind of coming out of the downturn. It never really bounced back. And then we had the steel dumping going on from China and other countries, the illegal steel dumping. And that really spread through the country and led to the closure of many of our mines. And we tried, we introduced legislation, and finally I asked Dennis to come up to northern Minnesota since he was from our state as President Obama's chief of staff and sit down uh, with a bunch of mayors from northern Minnesota, from Minnesota's Iron Range, uh, with uh, workers, with mine owners. And it was this long, long table, and nearly everyone had spoken. And near the end, a miner named Dan Hill 
He was the last to go, and he said, well, everything's been said, but so I'll just tell the story. And he said that he was out of work, and he said that his son had just graduated from preschool. And the teacher asked him at the graduation, what do you want to do when you grow up? And kids were saying all kinds of things, that they wanted to play basketball, or they were going to fly an airplane, and all kinds of cool things. And Dennis's son looked at the teacher, and he said, I want to be a minor like my daddy. And at that moment, Dan Hill uh, took uh, this steelworker t-shirt that he had in his hands, and he threw it across the whole long table. And I remember sitting next to Dennis thinking, you were a football player, catch the t-shirt. And he caught the t-shirt. And Dan Hill says, Mr. McDonough, make it come true. Make it come true. So Dennis listened, but then he acted. He went back to Washington, and he didn't just ignite a fire under the Commerce Department to get them to do even more work than they were already doing on enforcing tariffs and going after this illegal dumping and bringing things to the International Trade Commission, uh, but he also looked at other agencies, and he helped us, along with Sherrod Brown and so many others, uh, to pass legislation that made a difference. And all of this happened, and Dan Hill got his job back, and then I invited Dan Hill to come to one of the uh, last State of the Unions uh, for President Obama. And Dennis invited Dan Hill to the White House. And Dan Hill got to practically meet everyone uh, surrounding the president. That is Dennis McDonough. He listened, but he didn't just say, oh, I got there, I went, we'll try our best. He actually followed through, through the minutia of government to get things done. I'm going to end with the words of a poet who President Biden happens to love. Uh, and given Dennis's Irish roots, I can't think of a better person to quote from today's, uh, from today's vote. And it was Mr. Haney, who once wrote, anyone with gumption and a sharp mind will take the measure of two things, what's said and what's done. So Dennis will not just say words to the veterans of this country as your secretary, he will get things done. With that, Madam President, I ask my colleagues to support the nomination, Dennis McDonough as Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Thank you, and I yield the floor.